Hey guys, what's up? It's Hardcore Lemonade Girl back for another episode. This episode, I'm going to talk about the importance of a healthy relationship. And I really want to stress this out. This is e extremely important. Um, relationships are the base of our human life. We all have a relationship with something, with our friends, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, all that. I want to talk about why or how to maintain a healthy relationship, okay? Now, not everybody's the same. Not everybody has the same character traits, the same way they handle things, deal with things. We're all different. Um, that's why I'm just going to give kind of the basics and I'm going to let you go in depth on how to fix your own stuff, okay? Um, first things first, talk to each other, communicate. That's extremely important in rule number one. Talking to each other is you guys being open, not lying, not hiding, being completely honest. That's how you're going to gain trust and that's how everything is going to help make things work out. Um, if you lie, I mean, things are just going to turn out to be bad, and then someone's going to say, why did you lie to me? And you're going to be like, I you understand, but you know, they end up understanding anyway, because that's what TV says. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> not lying, telling the truth, and communicating. Uh, when I say communicating, I mean talking to each other, not just, I need this, can we go do this, like... How was your day? Did you have a good day? How are you feeling? You can tell me anything. These are how stable relationships happen. These are how your best friends come into play. This is how everything works. How decisions are made. How if someone can talk to you on a mutual level. And I think that is rule number one. And why that's important in communication would be rule. Well, it's one and two. Anyway, <laughs> another thing to maintain a healthy relationship is uh, telling your, each other your history. Now, this is more, uh, well, this can go on anybody, uh, friends, to maintain a stable relationship. I mean, it's good to know each other, so you guys should talk about your past history if you've uh, consumed alcohol, if you've done drugs, if you've cheated, if you've made a major life decision that turned your whole life around, uh, just things about your past. I mean, uh, I, my parents talk to me about their past and sometimes there's funny things, sometimes there's serious things, sometimes there's moral to stories and, uh, I, it, I, it's brought me closer to my family and it's brought me closer to my friends and, uh, it's brought me closer to other people relationships <laughs> and I think that's rule number two and a half <laughs> and then we have another rule or step whatever we're calling these um what is this uh to come together to Find a time for each other. There you go. It, to go out and bond. To go out to eat. To go watch movies. To go play in the park. To go. That might sound childish, but really it's fun. We have lovely weather here when it's not snowing. And then <laughs> uh, taking pictures. Going downtown. There's a whole bunch of things you can do. And getting together with your significant other, family, or friends. I find it that that's a good way to bond, which brings me to rule number four. I have lost track. Anyway, um, bonding. Bonding is important, and that's why you take time to go and help or be with someone. Uh, bonding. Bonding is important, which sums up all of communication and telling the truth and getting together and doing stuff. Bonding. 
is the key, okay? Key. <laughs> um, bonding is how you guys come together. Uh, you loving each other. It's precious. When uh, my friends spend the night, when I when I was little and I used to sleep with my parents, uh, just little, little things that bring you together, walking down the hallway in school, uh, driving with each other, carpooling, basic things, bonding, 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 okay? It's important. It keeps everything together. It's how you make a relationship happen. It's what keeps it together. It's the glue that sticks steps four, three and a half, and one and two, and all those little numbers. <laughs> That's what I find. Those steps uh, that I've given out, I think, are extremely important into maintaining a healthy relationship. <sighs> I hope you agree, and if uh, you have any ideas of your own, leave them in the comments down below. I will be sure to look at them and use them, um, and other people can use them as well. Now, it, for some advice, play the carefree music, please. Thank you. Um, <laughs> losing someone. Now, friends can become distant because you haven't done any of the steps mentioned before, or rules or whatever we're calling them uh, people can become distant and then go away and you have all these memories what do you do with these memories you burn them <laughs> I'm kidding uh, no they're nice to have it's your past and you're gonna look back at them one day maybe you're hurt but really you shouldn't look at them in a negative way find something positive about them that memory or those memories or whatever if someone's gone don't think of it as a bad thing. Just think about it as you're going to be able to start over. You've lost this person now. Try something new. Try looking back at these memories without falling apart. Now, uh, sometimes we get dumped. And that's horrible. And <laughs> we all need to get over that. And if we just need to take a few days to be sad. But we really need to be with our friends and such and getting over someone. Now, if you want heartbreak advice, go watch that video, please and thank you. But um, what, I, what I'm trying to say, I get off topic a lot, I apologize. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, if you're losing someone or in the process and you really don't want to lose them, okay, hold on. If you're in the process of losing someone or you've lost someone, just think about it. Is it good that they're gone? Is it a start of something new? Are you going to be able to start a new chapter in your life? Um, are you going to be able to look at these memories and think, yeah, I'm glad I knew that person. Um, we all have things that happen because things happen and it's just a part of life. Unfortunate events are what make life, okay? So what I think you guys should do is just one think about if it's okay to lose them if you're gonna be able to seriously logical be logical you're gonna be able to survive without this person we all are so just think is it gonna be okay if they're gone you'll be able to live first things first and then just think about the memories you've had and the good times and keep those all the bad times gone but all in all, it's really not a bad thing if you lose someone. I've lost people, and I just think about the good times I've had with them, and all the positive things, and that they've made my life the way it is, and it's fantastic. It's important to... What I'm saying is, my battery's about to die. My camera's about to die. So, um, it's okay if you lose someone. It happens, and... You're just going to be able to start over, okay? <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and this is Hardcore Lemonade Girl signing out. Bye.